Welcome back to Off the Beaten Path, the program that showcases interesting people, places, and things across this great state of Pennsylvania. One of the great things about Pennsylvania, I've learned in the last two seasons doing Off the Beaten Path, is there's a lot of really good craft breweries and craft beers that are being made in the state of Pennsylvania. And Christmas, Christmas time, Christmas cheer, yep. one of the things I like is a good craft beer. So on this episode, we check in with some old friends that we haven't seen since a very early season of Off the Beaten Path. I talked to two guys who took their home brewing hobby and made it a business. They were brewing small, small batches of beer in their garage. And that started the Breaker Brewing Company. I remember it well. Yeah, I remember it well too. It was a great night. Brian Bromley was there. He drove home because I had a sample of all the beers that they were you know, making at that time. Well, they took that little business, made it into a big business. And they decided to let us sample some of their holiday beers. So that is the beers today on the Great Beers of Pennsylvania segment. The Breaker Brewing Company. Check it out. Again. Welcome to my favorite part of the show. Yes, it is the great Beers of Pennsylvania, and it's our Christmas edition. And today, the beer we have is Bell Snickler Ale by the Breaker Brewing Company. Now, longtime viewers of Off the Beaten Path may remember the Breaker Brewing Company from a very early season of the show, back when they're just two guys brewing beer in the garage. Well, checking back in with them now, they aren't in the garage anymore, and it seems like they're doing well with their beers being very well respected in the craft beer world. So I say congratulations, guys. Now let's get back to the beer. Bell Snickler is described as a quadruple or quad style beer. So I know what you're saying. What's a quad beer? What does quad actually mean? Well, it's inspired by the Trappist monks of Belgium. A quadruple is a Belgian style ale of great strength with bolder flavor compared to its double and triple sister styles. It's usually sweet with low bitterness, yet a well-perceived taste of alcohol to it. So it's going to be a pretty big beer. The Bell Snickler is 8.5 alcohol by volume. So this beer is a little bit less potent than your usual quad style beer, but this beer still packs a little bit of a punch. It's available all winter long, and I've been told every year there's a different Santa on the label. And the model for the Santa this year is none other than off the beaten path super fan, Bill Arthur. So without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open, see what it's all about. I will open it up using, of course, the opener I always use, given to me by my favorite girl in the whole world, Kendra. Thank you again, Kendra, for this. And here we go. Okay, it's mildly carbonated, not overly carbonated. It's nice amber color. All right. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to taste this bad boy. First, of course, we smell it. That's half the experience. And uh, you can smell, uh, you can smell some malts. Smells sweet and almost like uh, you can almost smell some raisins in there. And now we're gonna taste it. Mm. And really, I'm surprised that you can't taste the alcohol as much as I thought you would be able to. Well, the tag on here says it's 8.5 ABV, and you can't really taste that alcohol in it, so that makes it kind of dangerous. A uh, couple of these, and uh, you may have to lie down for a little bit. It starts off sweet, it finishes a little bitter, it warms you pretty much from head to toe, like a winter warmer should, and in my opinion, it tastes a little bit more like the winter warmer style than the quad style. Uh, like a combination of both, really. I also like that it's not overly spiced. Uh, a lot of times these beers that you get around the holidays, they're just spiced out of control for whatever reason. This, this is a, this is a really good beer, and I told the guys from Breaker Brewing Company, 
I was gonna give them an honest to goodness review of their beer. And they haven't let me down yet. Every time I have tried their beer, it's been great. I gotta give them a thumbs up. It's one of the better, I'd say one of the better craft breweries in Pennsylvania, if not, you know, in the nation. That is a really excellent beer. Now let's talk about food pairings. I'd say you pair this with something like a prime rib, maybe made medium rare, or if you want to go straight for dessert, creme brulee. How's that? Yes, this is a big beer for sure, but it's easy to drink and it's great to keep you warm in those cold winter nights. You can get this in bottles at a bottle shop like the Beer Stop in West Hazleton, or you could go to the Breaker Brewing Company themselves, go to a tap room, try it on tap. Overall, I highly recommend this beer. Come to the big bottle like this, get one and split it with the one that you love. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. I'll see you again soon.